And Paxson Wojcik, you saw him wearing that headband. He's wearing that headband to cover up the 10 stitches that he got in the shoot-around this morning, this afternoon. Sounds like a little more than just a shoot-around <laughs> when you end up with 10 stitches. Baycott controls the tap. Radford, by the way, the preseason number two pick in the Big South Conference under third-year coach Darius Nichols. And there's Baycott to make it 2-0 Carolina. Radford obviously undersized trying to play against Armando Baycott. North Carolina did a great job spreading the floor. Three ball at the top is good, and that's Kenyon Giles. Quan Smith, by the way, terrific player. Their leading returning score at almost 14 a game a season ago. Ingram tees one up. Carolina, though, Dan showing you the early flash of transition and pace. And Hubert Davis mentioned pace a handful of times in our visit today. And R.J. Davis knocks it down from way out front. Here's Baycott backing down inside, lost the handle, and draws the foul. Six early for Baycott. Three field goals, and all of them right at the rack early in Chapel Hill. On the drive, Antoine Pierce the rebound and score. First points for DeAndre Pierce. Here's Cadeau. Weaving back around the screen, leaves it to Baycott. And one for Armando inside. He's got four field goals. He's got eight points and a chance for his second. Off comes Smith. Pull up for the Murray State transfer. Good. Daquan Smith with nine. 12 to shoot. There's a nice pass. R.J. Davis to Jalen Washington for his first field goal. Yep. Tell you what, R.J. Davis, the delivery of the basketball. Throw away. Here's Cormac Ryan. Bounce pass, Ingram, and one. Eight to shoot. Davis starts the traffic. He'll get all the way to the rim and lay it in. Giles scored well early, but sort of tailed off. He had nine in the first half. Here is Smith. Hard drive and one. Nicely done. 14 now for Daquan Smith. And this is really a nice job by Smith, just putting the ball down and getting to the basket. And again, Smith is he's only 6'1", but he's a strong kid, weighs 195 pounds, and he's used that physical stature very effectively. Ingram is standing three at the front. Bradford actually got a hand on that ball, but somehow he was able to force it into Bacon. Burns caught by Cadeau, pivots out and scores. Kyle Burns on the board. There's Kenyon Giles. And a scoop and score. Boy, Giles is. He is not afraid of anything. No, and he's made a bucket full of tough shots tonight, too, already. I mean, he goes right at Baycott and then right into Cadeau. Yep. And again, if you're Cadeau. And a scoop with the left hand, no good. Ingram. See, if, you, if you keep taking tough shots, eventually it's going to catch up. How about that? Well, we're talking about transition. You push it up the court, and you got a guy like R.J. Davis. He gets knocked. Now Cadeau on the drive to the basket and one. How about that? Carolina team that can be very dangerous in transmission. How about that acceleration with the dribble? He's going at a very slow, leisurely pace, and then he just... And this will be Daquan Smith. Ball away on Washington. Good. Oh, my. Daquan Smith gets in his bag, Dan. Ball away three. Radford trailing five at Chapel Hill. The return into the corner for Ryan in front of the bench three. That Cormac Ryan can do situation where Cormac Ryan is going to have to reset. He's got to move on that dribble and knocking it down. He's going to make that shot. Wow. Love Steve Forbes pulling for Billy Tyler's team. Fall away by Giles. Front rim miss. And here is look at Truth Harris. Nice pass for Pierce in the dunk. Really nice pass inside. And this is just a situation where Baycott has to come and help out.
And T.J. Neesmith at 6'9", 220 is not playing either because of injury. They could sure use those big guys tonight. Yep. Nice pass. Could go. Served it up for Washington. Well, Cadeau, you know, Cadeau comes in with the reputation of somebody who can find players inside. And that is just, I mean, that's... And Wojcik the rebound and Carolina's going to win. Tario's led by five and a... Very nice test on opening night provided by Darius Nichols' team, Dan. Really impressed with the way Radford scrapped, and when they made shots in the first half, they stayed right in it.